Such joy. How are you? Taking a deep breath. Let's start off with a 20 second cycle. In through the nose. Out through the nose. In through the nose. Breathing from your abdomen. Your shoulders shouldn't be lifting up. Out through the mouth. In through the mouth. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the nose. And into the nose. Ah, that feels a little better. Today, we're going to start off with the basics. Zeitgeist Hawaii, which is going along great. And hey, here we are. You and I, relaxing, comfortable. We're talking about food, though. Food is so amazing. And let's, uh, let's safeguard ourselves, all right? So let's talk about how you get into a place where you can truly relate to farmers. Because I'm not going to be a hypocrite myself. I have yet to actually participate in a large-scale farming operation, which I would like to. I have yet to stock up on food, which I would like to. So therein lies the question, what is the juncture between getting the food, harvesting and growing the food, and or just buying it using your money at a store, which is not necessarily sustainable. Some stores sell locally grown produce but the issue lies in the majority of goods which are not grown or not made in your local environment or your local uh, region I'm gonna give you a few links below one link and this link will give you a few tips on how to stock up, you know, keep stuff in airtight sealed containers, how to gather water cheaply, and which crops to grow. Ah, and, and which type of canned foods you want to stock up on. And also remind you about military rations too. So, all of this going on, we have to also consider our souls. The third eye, the, the pineal gland, the connection with everything. At the Planck scale, if you've seen What the Bleep Do We Know, or if you haven't, go and see it. But, this movie talks about quantum mechanics and how we're all connected. We're not separated from God. We're not separated from each other. See, those who seek light are blessed. And sin is very difficult to define, but I think, I think sin is separation from God. See, when you become attached to something that is physical, including your body, your friends, your addictions, or your behavioral patterns which are slow to change and are not plastic. When you start to sin on any of these levels, you become separate from God. And separation from God is, is death. And I'm not here to suggest that our bodies can live eternal lives, but I'm here to remind us that, hey, we're our souls. We're, we, are, we are something that is not even measurable or containable for that matter. So let us the room to express ourselves in love 
and cherish cherish that that is real this computer screen you're watching right now is not real my body is not real but I am still able to connect with you telepathically and I have a great video on my website masterofthejungle.com you scroll all the way to the bottom and it's my favorite video on chakras and third eye and then you've got my favorite video on quantum mechanics so if any of these subjects interest you check out my website or if you want to learn more about farming and safeguarding your food then hey watch the, watch the link right below have a wonderful day and you are my viewer you are my audience so please participate in and give me an idea help me out with this farming stuff we can, I, I, I need help you know give me a strategy that has worked for you and as you know light tree 2012 you're my guy you're my support and hey you've, you've been coming up with some great videos yourself you're an artist man so thank you aloha for now ladies and gentlemen this is the master of the jungle broadcasting from a valley in the mountains in Hawaii. Aloha.